All right, you guys, so that's probably gonna be some of the most terrible footage in history, but I'm out here on public land. I was walking in and uh, those birds started gobbling. They started gobbling, so I tried to find somewhere I could set up real quick. And uh, I saw a lot of gobbler tracks on the, it's a path right here. I'll turn the camera around in a second so you can see. But I saw a lot of tracks on that path. So something told me they might want to use that path just because I saw, I saw so many tracks on it. But those birds were gobbling. And I was sitting here using this little box call, just using it slightly, just a little bit, real lightly. And uh, I don't think they really were responding to that. Because I think they were already fired up, but they kept gobbling, kept hammering. And it was just happening so quick. I just kind of threw the camera down. So I, I couldn't even see what the camera was catching. But I had to go back and review the footage and see how it looks. But uh, it seemed like that wasn't really working. So I pulled out this wing bone right here that I got from a good buddy of mine. I hit this one time. And they immediately answered back. And then I could tell they were coming. Because each couple after that was getting closer and closer. So eventually, I saw him right here in the path. So at this point, I tried to turn the camera around. Um, one actually came in the woods right here. I'm pretty sure the camera didn't catch it. But one came into the woods, and I realized that one was a Jake. Stop calling. Just waited, waited. And then it looked like they were about to drift off. So I just barely, barely hit the uh, box call real quick. And then they all got back on this path and came up. I had my gun ready. I was getting ready to take a shot on the first long beard I saw. All four of them were Jake's. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. And I just, I don't know. I, I don't like shooting Jake's long beards only. At least that's what I'm shooting for. But, um, all right. My battery just died on me, but I'm back. So, like I was saying, those four birds came right up the path after I hit that wing bone call. Scratched it, scratched the leaves a little bit and waited. They came straight up the path. One came in the woods right in front of me. I realized that one was Jake. So I waited to try to see what the other three were because they all had nice deep gobbles. So I was just assuming at least one of them was gonna be a long beard. But um, as soon as they came up the path a little bit more and I was getting ready to take a shot, I realized all four of them were Jake's, which is crazy because they sounded like goblets, like, well, like it sounded like long beards. Um, I don't know if you guys could see them on the video. I'm going to check that when I get home. But I know you heard them because they were right here on top of me and they were steady gobbling. Like you were right here on top of me. Um, that sucks that I might not have gotten them on video, but this, this was a... Uh, this is a pretty, pretty crazy hunt. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually like called some birds in on public land here in South Carolina. Cause that's something that's usually pretty tough to do. But it is April 1st. So it's probably, you know, time for them to be getting right. And uh, they came straight to that wing bone call. As soon as I hit it, I could tell they liked it. As soon as I hit it, they gobbled right back. So. I think I'm gonna stay out here a little while longer. Uh, I waited till those four Jakes drifted off. I'm gonna try to wait and see if we hear anything else fire up. Uh, maybe I'll go look on the other side of the public land because there are several other entrances out here. So I might go look around, see if I hear anything else. If not, I'll go swing by some private land that my family owns, see if there's anything out there. But, uh, Check back in with you guys a little bit later. We'll see what's going on.